calling the second speaker, which is Patrice Langnon Sevade, the managing director of Agripat Industry in Benin, in West Africa. So please leave just for 15 minutes Kenya and follow the speaker to Benin. Uh, his presentation is about improving rural soybean processors income through processing and packaging in Benin. Good morning, everybody. Before I start, I have to thank uh, FAO and uh, FBPA for this invitation. We are going to present to you the improvement rural soybean processor income through processing and packaging in Benin. The outline of uh, this presentation is on uh, three points. The background, current state of soybean milk packaging, possible improvements. The first background, soybean is one of the uh, most processed agricultural products in Benin, mainly in the rural area. This processing activity that significantly contributes to Franklin against food insecurity is an important source of income income from women processors. So Daniel with other partners, researchers and farmers formed a consortium to respond to a call for a proposal launched by PayPal. PayPal is a part platform for African European Partnership for Agriculture Research Development. This project funded by ESA Commission, European Commission and uh, management by FARA. The second background, the project intended to improve soya milk and soya bean affinity. Affinity is a local pestilence uh, processing technology produced by rural women. Women processors who are the beneficiary of the project are guarded into small unity of small scale processing. Soybean milk demand in Benin. Based on one liter soy milk is composed of 37 grams of protein where Corn milk contains only 35 grams. Soy milk is uh, then rich in protein. Considering these aspects, people consume more soy milk, especially children for growth. It helps strengthen food and nutritional security. Therefore, soybean milk demand is in Benin. Current states of soya milk packaging. Processors are facing challenges to have access to appropriate packaging. For instance, there are reuse bottle plastic to packaging milk. These plastic are often plastic that clean from bar or restaurant thrown away after drinking the continent. The hygienic state of this packaging is doubtful and leads to the reluctance of consumers to buy the products. This reduces the competitiveness of a local milk processor. Consumers are actually looking for soy milk which are properly packaged to be assured of the quality of the product. Processors are aware of this limitation for their experience difficulty to have access to packaging. The other issue is of the shelf life of soy milk that can go beyond one day under room temperature. Researchers are working to prolong the self life so that the milk can be transported over long distance to cities where demand is high. 
This is uh, the situation in our country. The women and uh, all the stockholders are going to the restaurant, the bar, everywhere to collect the bottle and to clean it and reuse. Sometimes some bottles are contained before the fertilizer, we don't know, they clean it and this is uh, very dangerous for consumer. Possible improvements. Challenges in the processing sector partly depend on the type of packaging available and this offer must evolve to keep place with demand. To overcome the challenge of packaging, AgriPath, our, our private sector, is proposing a sustainable and adapted mechanism of support to processors. This consists in creating and strengthening business linkages between processor and packaging manufacturer. To enlargement, we would like to acknowledge all partners who directly and uh, indirectly support our, supported our activity. Firstly, is the Commission European PayPal, Fara Outro from the Netherlands. University of Abome Calavi, Wagengen University, University of Lisbon, INRAB is a research uh, institute in our country, FIPRO is the farmers organization, uh, FAO, I just, I, uh, first time I checked uh, uh, FAO and uh, FPPA and other partners. From us, if we are together, we can do more. This is uh, the situation of uh, Helen Kellen. In our language, our West African language, French, is seul on peut faire si peu, ensemble on peut tant mieux faire. Together we can do more. Thank you for this understanding. I would like to thank all three uh, speakers for the very rich and detailed uh, information they gave us on the respective value chain. And I would ask also the speakers. Uh, uh, Mr. Sevade and uh, uh, Bachira Kagwongo to come here for a discussion round. I hope that you in the auditorium have some questions, maybe some comments, some doubts. You need some further information. Maybe you can give suggestions, hints, even offer, offer cooperation. So for that we can have a discussion round of about uh, 20 minutes. and. Uh, we just prepare here uh, to answer your questions. Uh, to just uh, remind you a little, uh, Bachira Kagwongo was analyzing the low productivity uh, of the potato value chain in Kenya. And he analyzed the causes at the different steps of the value chain, like the extended bags with all their problems and the weakness of the framework conditions. Those are regulations which are not enforced in practice. Then the lack of a development plan and also low budget of um, important organizations like the NPCK. Uh, and I was astonished to hear that 95% of all the potato losses originating at the farm level. So the causes are at the farm level, maybe the consequences can be seen later. So there are multiple challenges to overcome. Then Patrice Sebade described the soybean value chain in Benin and acknowledged the high nutritious value of the soybean milk and the importance for food and nutrition security. The crucial point is the non-availability of the appropriate and safe packages, which forces the processors to reuse any kind of collected empty bottles, um, which may cause a problem for health and for human health and also blocks completely successful marketing. Key challenge is to create a linkage between processors and packaging manufacturers. And I think that is valid for all the uh, three situations. Uh, how to attract investors for further improvements for investments in packaging material, warehouses, etc. So the third uh, presentation was given by Robert Nguyen and he reported on the forms 
of uh, packaging tomatoes in North Cameroon and the problem caused by using bags and crates which do not allow long transport and maintain, maintaining the tomato quality. The challenge here is to install a new pack packaging manufacturer in cooperation with master craftsmen for mass production of an improved type of bamboo crates. However, as we have seen, this needs in consequence a master plan of conserving bamboo and even replanting bamboo based on the acceptance of the community. So that was it about so far and now please we are very eager and interested to get your questions and comments. Thank you so far. First of all, thank you for your presentation. I recognize the conservatism of our farmers. But way back in the late 1960s, early 1970s, milk production had similar challenges of standardization. And governments went full strength and actually standardized. So we're talking about meals and liters, and maybe sometimes the kilograms. What is the problem? Why are we still having these challenges with our potato farmers, our banana farmers, where no one really knows exactly what weights we are dealing with. Is it possible that the NCCK can move to regulate the weights and therefore give some kind of guideline to the packaging people, the packaging industry? We face similar problems in Uganda, where I come from, and I would like to learn from you. Thank you. Uh, there is a, we, 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 we have a law today uh, in what we call crop acts and alpha acts which were um, enacted in 2013 and they stipulate that all potato not all, all crops should not be packed with any bag that exceeds 50 kg bag and this is says that pricing should be by kilo so the law is there. The only problem is implementation. And uh, here is where we really need to work very closely with the farmers, as you are saying. We need to create awareness, which we are trying to do that. But in the recent uh, past, I think around uh, uh, April, May, some people went to court purporting to be farmers and said that when the law was made, they were not consulted. And uh, given our new constitutions allow that uh, all the stakeholders be consulted, now there is an ongoing case. But uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an issue of uh, interested uh, people or traders purporting to be farmers. So it is something we are following and trying to, to address. But all the pointers point to the need to sell the crop by pricing, by kilos. And uh, packaging of anything more than 50 kg bag is actually very risky and health uh, hazard to hundreds. Every year we have people dying. Young people break their bones and sometimes they have to take drugs to be able to handle those heavy uh, weights. Also, international labor law requires that no human being should carry uh, more than 50 kg bag. We have East African, uh, East, East and Central African standards. We call harmonized standard, uh, harmonized standard for East and Central Africa, which we are trying to implement in the region, including Uganda. And uh, I have worked with people from Uganda, that is uh, Kazadi, and also uh, Maif, trying to come up with these standards to implement them. So the law is there, it's a matter of implementing it and making sure that a few people do not take advantage of the value chain. Thank you. Looking at the courage of the potato farming in Kenya, you find that the smallholder farmer is left at the mercy of the brokers. They cannot access the market as individuals. So I'm wondering why the government itself cannot create a policy where the farmers, the smallholder farmers, can be brought under one forum where they can access the market 
they have a market linkage, uh, they have a broker there in the market where they can take their products without being uh, misused by the brokers. The other issue is the type of tra transport mode that we use in Kenya. Aroli is used to carry product, uh, factory waste. The second day is taken to the farmer. It carries potatoes to the market. It is filled with cathogenic materials. The potatoes are left at the masses of the consumers. So we end up consuming potatoes which are poisoned. Yet the government has not created a policy that can, can assist us. The other issue is the issue of the uh, linkage, the artificial surface. We do not have people who are supposed to, the extension surface is poor. We don't have people who are there to assist the smallholder farmers. They are left at the masses of the, maybe the pesticide companies. They come with this product, they say it is nice, the other one this and this. And out of that, we end up finding that the production of the potato in Kenya is hampered. It goes downwards instead of getting up. The, another issue is the issue of packaging. We find the potatoes being packaged in gunny bags, which are bought from second-hand dealers. Initially, they had carried a chemical or something that is not worth being mixed with food, and they end up at the mercy of the farmer who packs the product and take it to the market. And out of that, once again, we find poisoned potatoes reaching at the home of the farmer. Finally, we have subsidies which are given by the government to tea farmers. The potato farmers have been neglected and that is one issue which has really hampered high production of potato farming in Kenya. All these issues I've talked about revolves around the policy framework. What is the government doing? What is the organization that Mr. Wachira is working for doing to ensure that those policy frameworks are put in place and they work very well. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much uh, for those questions, uh, which are quite relevant. And uh, they are actually uh, in the minds of many small-scale farmers and uh, uh, most of us. About uh, small-scale farmers being left uh, out, uh, first I would like to tell you National Potato Council is not a government uh, institution. It is a PPP, public-private partnership, which brings all the stakeholders together uh, from production, where potato production, seed production, processors, uh, we are supposed to even to work with the traders and all researchers and all others. Anybody doing any business in potatoes um, is a member, or we can work with them. Uh, but we have a uh, a farmer organization, Apex One, called Kenapofa, which is supposed to have uh, membership all over the country in all potato producing counties, but it has had its challenges uh, in terms of uh, financial support. Our facility I mentioned about that uh, because we, we, we have a challenge in supporting uh, potato subsector. I mentioned at the beginning that potato has not had enough support, even if it comes second to maize. Maize has had a lot of policy support, a lot of institutional support, a lot of uh, expertise support, and with all that, it has only contributed about 120 billion to the country. Potato, without a lot of support, contributes 50 billion. You can imagine if you have been supporting potato for the last 20, 30 years, where will you be? So, we have been pushing the government uh, to have potato policy. Also, we have uh, lobbied and uh, the government has started giving pot potato uh, money in terms of supporting institutions. And also, the government uh, uh, produced this legal notice, no, public notice of packaging. It was meant for all the crops, but it is the potato industry, it is National Potato Council and others in the industry who pushed for it. And uh, we have been uh, meeting and following the issue of packaging together. So we 
are pushing on the uh, legal framework for potato. And we are lobbying, we are talking, and uh, we, have, we have also joined KEPSA. KEPSA is Kenya uh, Private Sector Alliance, through which we are lobbying. We have formed another institute, uh, another organization called um, uh, Agricultural Council uh, for Kenya. Again, where we are supposed to be meeting the, 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 the president and uh, ministry to discuss agricultural issues. And one of the items there is budget for agriculture. Because at national level and at county level, agriculture is not being supported adequately. It is getting more less than 3%. And with that, we can't uh, do a lot. So we are actually uh, working on that in terms of robbing. You have also mentioned uh, about a very pertinent issue of packaging, which are not standardized, and even transporters using uh, trucks and uh, bags that have used uh, have been used in uh, carrying other poisonous chemicals and all these. And um, actually, that is something we are discussing. We had a discussion last week in terms of standardizing the packaging bag for potatoes, uh, meant to meet uh, a few manufacturers of. Uh, Bags so that we have a standard one and the stakeholders so that uh, we prescribe. What is happening is that uh, when we say that um, the bag should not be more than 50 kg bag, traders, I mean, uh, uh, traders are looking for those bags like uh, the ones that carry uh, brand written 50 kg bag, uh, 50 kg. When you pack brand in 50 kg bag, of course, it's bigger when you now put potato in the same bag. Although it's written 50 kg, for potato it will be over 100 kg. So that's what they are doing, and those are the tricks they are using to to, to, to export farmers. So we are we are trying to develop a standardized bag. You are right; that is very important uh, for us to to be able to change the, the the process. The other problem is the material used because we are using nylon, and uh, nylon kind of uh, does not allow potatoes to breathe and therefore whatever was rotten increases to rot because farmers do not sort, farmers do not um, uh, uh, grade and therefore and there is no much premium that to encourage uh, grading and sorting. So we are trying to see how we can do that by linking, organizing farmers on the farm and linking them to the market, to market outputs, like uh, the, 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 um, these uh, fast food chains. That's what we are trying to do. Uh, so uh, we are trying to address these issues from different angles, organizing farmers, linking them to the market, and also working with the counties, because at the end of the day, this regulation can only be now implemented by the county at the county level. So we are trying to work with the counties to implement, to make their own bylaws at the county level so that the packaging, because one other problem is that uh, the county governments in their markets, they charge the traders per bag instead of per weight. So the bigger the bag, the less the trader will pay. So that is an incentive to pack bigger bag. So we are trying to work with them so that they don't charge per bag, they charge per weight. Of, uh, uh, of per kilos, so that that will remove the incentive of the bags, I mean of the traders to park in uh, big bags. Uh, the other issue is extension. I'm aware we have problem with extension, and this is the same problem of uh, uh, the, the, the budget at the county and national level. Thank you. I, I liked the presentation on tomato. Thank you very much for the presentation. I'm from Uganda. Uh, my question is, you talked about you're developing a packaging uh, system for tomato transportation. But I wonder whether you've considered uh, looking at integrating value addition and packaging, probably by, by adding value to tomato closer to the farmer, and then having a pack for the value-added product. And do you think that could reduce the wastage more? Because with the improved packaging, you still have issues to do with temperature. I think as you move the crates along, the tomato could still spoil. Another thing is about the, the crate you are developing. 
Have you had linkages with the private sector? Are they willing to take it up for promotion? Thank you. Your first question for the uh, uh, you're asking the first uh, for the first question if uh, from, from uh, if there is a value uh, 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 value addition to the to the tomato. Uh, normally, yes, because uh, 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 because normally uh, 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 we are trying to evaluate. We lose we lose about thirty percent per, per, per percent of the tomato production. Do do, do, uh, do uh, uh, because economically, tomato is a is a, is a good market if you want to call it. The, the, uh, the, this tomato are uh, exported in neighbor countries. But what we want is is to tomato to reach market in good state. In this case, this added this add value will, uh, will be certain. But by the time tomato the, does not reach market in good, uh, uh, in good condition. Uh, the producer have to bargain it. Uh, 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 so, uh, that's what they are asking to, to have a way to bring it. They, 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 they are asking two things, even politically. Good roots, uh, good roots, and uh, because we don't have good roots, they say, if we, uh, 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 why not good, uh, uh, good packaging? Uh, that, that problem. But concerning the, uh, uh, yeah, this question, uh, is there an investor for this? I don't know. We know. I mean, we are not. We are, we are not talking about that because since we are we are, we are working with small craftsmen, uh, our problem is to just to help to help them to, uh, uh, to build up the same material because depending on depending on craftsmen, craftsmen for instance, uh, a craftsman from, from a craftsman from from Fumbot, where you build it, uh, he is great. The volume, the demand is not. It's not exactly the same with the problem from Bafusam and so on. Our main objective was to bring them to build the same material because all the all producers are, are complaining, yes, uh, uh, variability of volume, uh, etc. creates some problem to the, uh, to, to, uh, uh, for, for, for instance, producers sometimes refuse crates from certain origin because they are, they are, they are, they are too big, big, big because their crates which, which can contain 25 kilograms of uh, 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 of, uh, of tomatoes, but sometimes they are obliged to put one two kilogram or he won't take. They, they did not accept it. Now, now we, our problem is bringing them to do the same thing. Maybe, maybe, uh, uh, maybe they may join to create a company. I don't know, but uh, our problem was not exactly that. But what we have realized. It, because uh, uh, the, this study is uh, almost ongoing because we, uh, the leaders are presenting the authentic in, in August. But what we have realized up to now is that with this small machine, this too much simple machine, uh, one of the craftsmen uh, is changing his activity. He has, he, has, he has set up, he's now producing, producing ribs uh, in, in good quantity and selling these ribs to all the craftsmen. Uh, 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 maybe this. I consider this as an initiative of uh, our, our main concern was uh, what that the appropriate the, uh, the third appropriation of this uh, uh, this improvement for, me, for company. Uh, to me it's not a question but just a rather comment. I have two comments, one to Patrice and uh, the second one to brother from Kenya. Uh, from technical point of view as a food scientist, I would advise uh, brother Patrick that uh, uh, instead of focusing on producing a soy milk, which I'm quite sure will face a problem of, uh, of the storage, why don't you think of producing uh, what, what you call uh, soy meat, which uh, is a bit easier to, uh, to preserve it? And we have, uh, we have uh, vivid examples from brother from uh, Zambia. They are producing uh, soy meat and they are, they are doing it quite well. So I wish to tell you that while you're focusing on soy milk, also, you should, you should have a plan B on focusing on soy meat, which I'm quite sure could be something uh, useful to you. Uh, the second one is uh, to brother from Kenya. Uh, I really appreciate your presentation, but uh, what I realize is that uh, something is missing from the, from the physical damaged potatoes. Uh, the problem you're facing is uh, similar to us in Tanzania. We, we, some of the part, we grow a lot of potatoes. And uh, we, ha we had a uh, we had a lot of uh, physical damage potato. What we're trying to do now is to 
produce uh, 12 energy products from uh, physical damaged potato. Uh, we are trying to dry them and uh, instead of bringing to the market as, a, as the way it is, we are trying to bring them in a formulated product like a cake, like what, by formulating a product which contains other ingredients that will support even the nutritional composition of the, of, the, of the potatoes. So to me, I think it's another room for you to think about it. If you could, uh, you could, uh, you could have uh, some, uh, some processors who try to produce a value-added product that could really sweep the market of our days because people now are very busy. Instead of uh, eating uh, what you call uh, those uh, boiled potatoes, people want to eat something else. So it's your time to think about it, brother. Thank you. Thank you for this comment about uh, soya meat, soya cheese. In Benin, we have produced uh, many underproductor on soya beer. In soya bean, maybe one, 132% underproduct we are, we are getting. And soya flour, cheese, meat, milk, and uh, other underproduction. Because of uh, this uh, presentation, we are targeted to milk because we want, we need packaging for the milk. Thank you for this uh, added value, this uh, information you have given to us. Thank you. Okay. Thank you um, for your big interest in the auditorium, ladies and gentlemen. Time does not allow any more questions, so I would like to suggest that some of you sit together during the next break with our uh, resource persons here and maybe you can further discuss and elaborate solutions and maybe investments uh, because we have now to go on in the program but I would like to thank and to express my deep thanks to the three resource persons we had uh, in this session so far um, and I think you should give them or we all should give them a great clap. I, I wish you uh, a big success in your further work and uh, yeah, that your recommendations can be fulfilled in maybe short time. That's what I wish you.